Hi Molly, it's Michelle. I'm gonna go ahead and show you basic setup of that chat bot. Just in case you forget how I did it, and remember you can do this for anything, I'm gonna go through and set one up as an interview, but remember you can make the chat bot be a character, you can make them be um, you know, virtually anything you want to be an expert in, as long as you have the information that you can provide. So what we're gonna do, I'm already logged into Magic Schools. I'm gonna click Launch to Students. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click Launch New Rooms. I'm gonna name this something. I'm just gonna call it Basic Interview. I'm gonna click Next. Then I'm gonna scroll down and find my custom chat bot and click add. Then I'm gonna click next. Then I'm gonna hover over it and click customize. I'm gonna call it a basic interview. I'm gonna say brush up on your interview skills with this bot. Then I'm gonna ask the instructions for the chat, but I'm gonna say, please pretend you are an employer giving an interview to a high school student. Ask the student questions and engage in a conversation about employment. And then, knowledge, I'm gonna come over here. Here's some basic interview questions. I actually have a lot, but I'll just do a couple. Copy those, come over here, paste, okay? Now, remember, I don't want students to see this stuff so I'm gonna click the eyeball to make it hidden so now this is all they'll see okay then I'm gonna hit next and then if I want to mess around with it to see if I like it I'm gonna click generate hi there I'm the hiring manager manager at a company I'm here to interview you for an entry-level position we're always looking for bright motivated high school students to join our team so you could even tell it a company like if you wanted it to pretend it's a hiring manager at Kohl's you could do that or you could keep it generic I'd like to ask you a few questions are you ready to begin yes I am ready oh remember when I said um, don't ask you we don't want it to ask a lot of questions at once, right? So I can hit back and I could put, please only ask the student one question at a time, okay? So I can hit next and then generate and try it out. Once it's perfect and I have it exactly like I want, then I can hit done, then I can hit launch room And then from there, you can project the URL so students will see it. Once I teach you Google Classroom, we can put it right on your classroom. But when I click this, here's the URL. You can also email, copy that, and email the URL to your students, whatever makes it easy for you, okay? Um, and then once they click on that URL, this is what it'll look like, okay? And then they'll go ahead and put in their name, test student. They'll click join room. They'll read over the responsibility statements, click I acknowledge, click on basic interview, click generate, and then they'll go ahead and begin, okay? If you have any questions, be sure to reach out, I'd be more than happy to help you.